Here we have a model of what the problem looks like with the tape wrapped around both drums. Hi, I'm Robert DeYoung. This is Project 2, Group 11. My other group mates are Tyler Dennis and Alan Milken. Uh, for our project, we had uh, two drums with a tape wound between them. The given variables for the drums are here. Drum A, the lower drum, had a weight of 1.4 pounds. Um, the radius of gyration was 0.0625 feet, and the radius of the drum was 0.075 feet. For drum B, same, uh, we have 3.5 pounds for the weight. The radius of gyration was 0.1042 feet, and the radius of the drum itself was 0.125 feet. Um, for the tape, the uh, initial tension on TA here was 0.75 pounds, and the initial state um, at time zero, the velocity was zero, and in order to solve this problem, the first step you need to do is to find the angular velocity of drum A and the angular velocity of drum B. Um, so here, you're taking the final state velocity, which is 10, and dividing it by the radius of A to find the angular velocity of A, which is 133.33 radians per second. And same here, the angular velocity of B is the final state velocity divided by the radius of B, which is 80 radians per second. Also, in order to solve this problem, you need to know the individual inertias of drum A and drum B. And you um, find that by knowing the mass and the radius of gyration of each, which you're given in the problem. Um, here you're just dividing by the acceleration due to gravity to get it into the mass term. So the first answer for the inertia of A is 1.69837 times 10 to the negative fourth slug feet squared. And then 1.17 Nine four two times ten to the negative three slug feet squared. Tension T A B. We need to sum the moments about A with a counterclockwise positive orientation. So we do R A times T A B times T minus R A times T A times T is equal to the moment of inertia of A times the angular velocity of A. Now plugging all these numbers in, we can see that tension A B is equal to two point oh oh eight pounds. And now we sum the moments about B, but we use a clockwise positive orientation instead. So TAB is going to be negative here. We're going to have RB times TB times T minus RB times TAB times T is equal to the moment of inertia about B times the angular velocity about B. And that's going to give us a TB of 5.1315 pounds. That's good.